Hi everyone, this is Ben Songroth with the Learning Technology Center of Illinois, and today we are going to look at how to create a question in Google Classroom. <coughs> so a question is a way for us as teachers to engage our students uh, in a couple of different ways. So it's a way for us to collect uh, short answer responses or poll the class using uh, multiple choice questions, fun stuff like that. Now to do that and to create one so we can see what those options are and see we're in our stream here. But we're actually going to go up here to classwork and we're going to see all the different classwork uh, that we've already assigned to our students. But what I want to do is create a question. So I'll go over here to the left hand side where I see create, click create, and then you can see I have all my different options and I will scroll down to question. So when I open up the question area here, you can see it looks very similar to uh, the assignment window as well. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and ask a question. So I'm gonna do, the first one I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to ask a short answer question. So I'm gonna ask a really tough one like, what color is the sky? Obviously you should probably maybe have to get a little more in depth with your students, but that's the one I'm gonna use. Uh, you can see then I can add, I can add my assigned points to this, uh, give it a due date, uh, should I choose to do that, and then also a topic. And again, topics are, create, are uh, covered in a different video. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put this in as a research topic. And over here, this is where I can change the format of my question. So I can ask a short answer or multiple choice. So if I clicked on multiple choice, you can see I can actually put different options in. It looks very similar to a Google form multiple choice question. So in this case, I could put blue, green, uh, you know, any of those options. I'm going to leave it as short answer. Now, the important piece to this is over here where you can see that if you turn on students can reply to each other, this is actually going to allow students to see other students responses and then type a reply back to that student which is pretty cool now the caveat to this is that students have to answer the question first before they can reply to another student so that's good uh, the other option you have here is you can turn this on to where students can edit the answer so if students want to go back change their question answer response uh, they can do that i'm going to leave that off for now uh, you can also see down here you have the same options as every other way to add some to Google Classroom where you can insert a link, a Google Drive file, a YouTube video, and or another link. So that's pretty great. Uh, and then like other options, you can always uh, ask the question right away, schedule it for a later time, or save it as a draft. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to go ahead and ask this. And it takes a second and it shows up as my uh, inside of my research topic as what color is the sky. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. You can see that one person's assigned because I only have one person in the class. We're going to view the question. Writer has not yet answered this question. So what we're going to do now is we're going to jump over into Writer's profile. Okay, so we're in Writer's profile now. And you can see here is the question. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. We're going to view that as a student. So this is Writer the student here. He's going to type in the answer blue, turn it in, submit the answer. And now <clears throat> you can see he gets the option to see classmates' answers if he wants to. Obviously, he's the only one, but if he, there were more students in here, they would all populate in this in the uh, area here. So we're going to jump back over to the teacher side. You can see that uh, after a quick refresh, that we have one response turned in, and there it is, writers is blue. I can now type a comment back to him uh, to give him feedback on his answer. I can then also go over here and score uh, that response and return that score to writer with a private comment if I wanted to. But we'll go back over to writers here, and you can see that if you go back to his answer, uh, you should see that he got a 100 out of 100. So if this was multiple choice, it would actually come up as something slightly different where it would have a, um, a graph of the answers, uh, which is also very cool, but you would also still see the students' individual uh, responses here as well. So that's how you create a question inside of Google Classroom. Uh, for more information on Google Classroom, make sure you look at the playlist uh, that this video is in, and we are covering all things Google Classroom in that playlist. So uh, make sure you follow the LTC on Twitter, at LTC Illinois. Uh, follow me on Twitter, at Mr. Underscore Songroth, and then check out the LTC blog at ltcillinois.org uh, slash blog. So thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the next helpful video.